Tauruses. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. Thank you guys for tuning in, clicking on the video. I do appreciate you. I just want to give a shout out to all of my Tauruses, even my cross watchers for the Tauruses. <laughs> um, you guys really bring in the views. You're always number one. And I just want to say I appreciate it. Um, even though it's nice to get the views, I, I do hope you guys are, I'm helping you and you're taking something away from it. Um, and I, you know, I'm, off, I'm, I'm giving you the clarity that you are looking for. So just a quick shout out to you. I'm just sending you my love and appreciation. You know, I'm very grateful for all of you guys. So I want to do something nice for you. I haven't decided yet. Maybe, you know, it'll be like another, a bonus reading or um, something really in-depth, like, uh, you know, maybe an eight-card spread, something crazy, right? <laughs> you know? So I'm I'm still trying to figure out which what I want to do for all of my Tauruses out there. So thank you. Um, so yes, we're getting into your reading. This We're going to just see what messages you need to know when it comes to love and romance, okay? Um, please keep in mind, I will not be posting any general readings or doing personal readings for the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I will post on the 22nd, but after that, I will not be posting again until December 6th, okay? However, personal readings will be available on November 30th. All of this will be in the description, okay? With that being said, let's get into your reading. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe Source. Uh oh what messages of love and romance do you have for my Tauruses? Give them guidance, understanding, wis wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, freedom, clarity, and peace of mind. What messages do you have for Tauruses in love? Make it clear, make it plain, make it clear, make it plain, sphere. For my Tauruses in love. Make it clear and make it plain. All right, one more shuffle. Okay. All right, Taurus. What messages do you need to know? Oh, you have the Two of Cups off the bat. Two of Cups. Okay, what else? The Ace of Cups. Oh, my God. Oh my God. And the temperance. Ooh, honey. Ooh, with the queen of wands. Okay. Uh, this is an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, very passionate. This queen of wands is. I'm, I automatically just looking at the cards. I'm getting, I'm getting passion. Mm. Okay. Perhaps you're dealing with this person. Perhaps you are taking on the energy of the queen of wands. I don't know. Male or female. Doesn't matter. No gender in tarot. But hello, did Taurus meet a new love? Do you have a romantic connection that's balanced emotionally? Uh, wow. That brings about healing for you. Um, mm, moving at a good pace. What? Let's find out. Okay, let me not get excited. Let me not get excited. Mm, okay, why the two of cups? Why is the Two of Cups here? Why the Two of Cups? Okay. Oh. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. I, I feel like you're starting something. Taurus, that's your energy. Hierophant. Are you starting new? Like, are you making a connection with someone? Um, possibly starting <clears throat> a new commitment. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Okay, the Five of Swords. Why the Five of Swords? Justice. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe you've met someone. Um, you could have some feeling of... It's not necessarily defeat, but maybe not the most positive outlook on this I feel like you've not had very much luck very much um, success with new loves new situations maybe um, they hadn't 
gotten off the ground. Maybe you felt um, sometimes it was unfair. You were treated unfairly. There was no equality there with the justice in the reverse. And it caused you to feel some type of way. Like you kind of go into situations. Um, I know I'm kind of getting like there's a conflict with it, right? Why is the temperance here? Why the temperance? Why the temperance? Thank you. Okay, yeah. So perhaps you're healing. Are you healing from the past? I, I mean, I have two healing cards. Taking a break, meditating, just kind of retreating. Um, some of you could be trying to heal some emotional traumas, issues you've had uh, from previous situations. Why the Four of Swords? Um, let me ask again that came out sideways. Why the Four of Swords? Why the Four of Swords? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, Taurus. Five of Cups in the reverse. So this is like you're forgiving the past. I think I think you are healing from it. And perhaps this new love, you may have been apprehensive with this person. But I think it's offering you some emotional fulfillment, something that makes you feel healed like you know i feel like this is healing forgetting the past forgiving the past accepting what has happened mm, what's the energy of that two of cups wow okay now i can get excited <laughs> what's the energy of the two of cups oh oh really it's coming in quick man wow it's coming in quick taurus Knight of Swords could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And this person could be coming after you real quick, real quick. Why? What? What's what's the energy of this Ace of Cups? OK, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like you've had conflict with new love and and maybe meeting someone, maybe being emotionally fulfilled. And to some degree, I feel like you 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 could feel like you're there's a lose lose here but somebody is pursuing you and they want to commit to you okay i i this is like new beginnings but i think you're healing you're going through this healing process i think you know like you have a problem with <clears throat> maybe trusting someone with your heart trusting someone with your emotions and i think you want to heal the past heal whatever you've been through so that you don't bring it into the new situations and new relationships that develop why the five of cups well, i'm sorry what's the energy of the temperance okay okay so the knight of pentacles in the reverse um maybe the healing has been pretty stagnant um sometimes we feel like we've gotten over things and then a new person comes along and they trigger us or they show us like, you know, there are areas we have not. That's what I'm getting with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, mm. But, you know, you have we have to take responsibility for those those um, heartbreaks, those issues from the past. Why? What's up with the Knight of Swords? Let's get some information on them. Somebody's coming in, coming in. Wow, what's up with the Knight of Swords? Oh, it came reverse. Okay. They're rushing in, but I don't think they're saying, mmm, this person may not, may not be saying a whole lot um, with the Eight of Wands. Like, they, there's a lack of communication or some type of expression by the Hierophant. Oh, let me ask again, sorry, because it kind of came out sideways. Mm -mm. Why the Hierophant? Okay, the Two of Swords. Mm. Okay, maybe you're hesitant. Maybe they're hesitant. Maybe you guys are indecisive. 
I think because you're still healing. This I'm getting healing over here, big time. And you've had conflict with new relationships, but somebody's coming in. And they're coming in strongly. What's the energy of that Page of Pentacles? What's the energy of the Page of Pentacles? Okay, hey, when they come outside. So the Knight of Wands. That is fire energy. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody's coming in very passionately. Um, they may come off sexual to you, Taurus. They may seem, I don't know. I, I mean, could they seem inconsistent? I'm going to pull the energy from that. Because I'm getting kind of two things here. Let's see. What's the energy of the Hierophant? What's the energy of the Hierophant? Okay, the death card. That's what I'm saying. Your person could be very, um, like, physical. <laughs> um, they could want... How can I say this? And this might be taboo for some people. They may look at it side eye. But I'm kind of not getting a side eye feel here. They could really want commitment with you, want to marry you, but also at the same time, you might really just light their fire. Like they want to get it cracking with you in the bedroom. And perhaps, I mean, is this like an issue for you? Why the two of swords? Okay, page of swords. Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe this is, an, is this an issue for you? Um, because, you know, sometimes when someone comes off more physical than emotional, it could rub, it could rub a person the wrong way. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. Because this is you healing. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. Okay, the moon. Okay. I, I mean, I'm getting your fears. I'm getting your fears here. Your emotions are here. Um, that's Pisces energy, Sagittarius energy. We have Scorpio on the board. I, I'm getting a this person wants to transform this connection. Or you do. But I feel like somebody's coming toward you. Maybe, are you looking? You could be looking for information. Page of Swords. Looking for something to solidify, like listening to readings. You know what I mean? Listening to readings, watching their social media page, um, just to see if there's anything you should be concerned about, worried about. If you know some of the same people, you may be asking other people about them. I feel like you're, you're, you're needing to know truth. Um, because you have had conflict when it comes to new love, conflict when it comes to your emotions. But I love that you're healing. I do see your fear, though. Um, this is great. But let's get your advice, okay? Let's get your advice because I do see a love connection. Now, this person may not, again, they may not be saying a whole lot, maybe even doing a whole lot. But this person, their energy is like they want to rush into you and grab onto you, even with the night of wands i mean i have two knights and these are not slow knights they are fast moving knights and they want to come in quick um let me just pull a card on that death card why the death card the queen of swords mm. why the queen of swords why the queen of swords Why the Queen of Swords? Are you... Mm, this could be your love interest. Okay. Wow. Like, this is somebody who could possibly want to heal heal you or... or, or I'm just... They want to change something, the dynamic here. If there's heartbreak, if there's been disappointment, even between the two of you, but I feel like this is new love. It could, it doesn't have to be new love. Because like with that page, 
It's like the start of a commitment. Marriage, the start of something like that. I do feel like this person wants to change the heartbreak. Like if they've experienced heartbreak, they, you know, disappointment, like they want to change that I, or you want to change it. I mean, I have a pair here. Um, you guys could have some tension or something in, like happening between the two of you. I mean, you, there's a love connection. There's a romantic connection. I'm not getting like angry, angry, but I'm getting that there could be something between the two of you that's not all that pleasant. Like maybe you've had some disagreements, right? You could have had some disagreements. You could have had um, maybe even I'm gonna, an argument that ended in some disappointment. And this person wants to change this because I feel like they look at you as, you know, their romantic like dream. Maybe this situation, maybe the argument or whatever you guys don't agree on has caused them to question or has caused you to question it. Because look, I think it could be you, Taurus, because here it's like you've dealt with so much conflict and things not being fair and equality. And so you might be like looking at them side eye when they do stuff. Just saying, let's get your advice, okay? But that's what I'm getting. Um, your advice will tell us more what you should do in this situation but wow i mean come on two of cups ace of cups the temperance i like that you're healing though it's like healing those old wounds we do have to take responsibility for you know our past traumas our past heartbreaks we have to do the self-work all right what's up with taurus's advice uh-oh what advice do you have for Taurus regarding this love and romance situation? What advice? Uh -oh. What advice do you have for Taurus? What advice do you have from a Taurus? Oh, okay. Okay, the Emperor. All right, let's see. We do have the Three of Cups at the bottom. Three of Cups at the bottom. Emperor. Um, be responsible. Take control. Discipline is needed. I don't know if that has something to do with the healing process or what. But let's see. Why the Emperor? Ooh, the strength. Could be. Could be. Taking control. The strength card. Leo energy. Taking control over your situation, over your life, over your stability. King of Swords. Five of Swords. Oh, man. What the heck? Um, okay. <laughs> Again, I feel like you've been dealt some harsh relationships in your life. And maybe you're not as flexible. You're not willing to budge. You're not, you know, it's kind of like stubborn. The, the king of swords reverse is stubborn. And I think you do feel defeated in a way. Or you feel like there's a conflict. What's the energy of that emperor? And I think, yeah, look. Five of wands. What is this? Five of pentacles. I think it is time to take responsibility over your disappointments. Um, every time you've been rejected it feels like trauma to me um your heartaches your sadness your disappointments your letdowns your failures when it comes to romance i think it's time to tap into your inner strength and have courage when it comes to love i mean you have new love i saw new love you know whether this is past energy present or in the near future i saw that there was new love here and it's time to do the self work. You know what I'm saying? Face whatever has been keeping you in this five of swords energy, feeling like you can't win, right? Like there is a conflict here, conflicted within yourself possibly. Why the two of cups reverse though? What's up with the two of, what's up with the two of cups in the reverse? Okay, the emperor again. 
Why the Emperor? Why the Emperor? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. What's the energy of the Emperor? The Three of Pentacles. There's something here that feels like cooperating, cooperation, meeting someone halfway, being a team player, even though you're hurt, even though you're suspicious, even though, you know, you've, again, traumatized, right? I, I know what it is to be traumatized by love. I know what it, I, trust me when I say I know. But I'm getting this sense of like being cooperative, putting in the effort, putting in the time, putting in the work so that you can have a long-term committed relationship. Stability is important here. Why the five of pentacles? Okay, that wanted to come out. Why the five of pentacles? Thank you. Okay, yeah, maybe, and and don't be afraid to tell this person how you struggle. They could help, you know what I'm saying? If you're struggling, if you have issues or, you know, hey, I don't like when people do this, you know, it it makes me, it triggers me or it hurts my feelings or, you know, whatever the case may be. Don't be afraid to express this, okay? It's okay to talk. It's okay to share your thoughts and your ideas with the page of pentacles eight of wands this is communication but i think this is a part of taking responsibility taking control okay don't hold it all inside express to your person what your fears are so that they know you know and you're not secretly mad at them or um you know, or, or just holding it, like suppressing it. That's not healthy ever. All right, Taurus. I think I'm going to leave it there. So good luck with this situation, okay? And um, thank you guys again. If you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscription button. And I will talk to y'all next time. Mwah. Deuces.